uh, what is the uh, take away from this election, from this result, uh, particularly for civil society and common people? What, yeah. what are, what they, uh, what they should do, what they sh uh, how they should take this and uh, what they should uh, do in future from yeah. tomorrow onwards? I think being a part of the civil society, I think I have learned through this last three or four years. Uh, at some point, I think I, I myself would have been the victim of thinking that my role ends with uh, voting. right? Uh, and somehow, uh, the, the parliament and the place where the decisions are made, the executive legislation, their roles are, they are doing the job. We have given the mandate, they will do it. But in these 10 years, we have realized that the role of democracy is much further. Uh, until the last person uh, does not get justice, our role is to stand up and talk. Those who are privileged should be able to talk uh, and bring the bring collective consciousness to it. I think civil society ha has produced that and civil society has taught many of us and many people, including myself here, I think I was a couch commentator. I feel like I have participated and I've learned from this process of swelling of the public in terms of consciousness. I think this collective consciousness which has come is a big thing. I think people have to hold on to it. And I think, uh, I, I think each of these things which have happened in the last few years, uh, we should not take them as isolated incident. And here I will mention three things. One, uh, because I'm sitting in Edina, uh, the death of Gauri, uh, when I witnessed this in a different country, when I witnessed this, it really hurt me because it, Bangalore was still my city, although I was living somewhere else. I felt very bad about it and, and you saw how the journalists came forward, how even Edina is a conception which has come out of the journalists who have worked and activists who worked with Gauri, right? I think Gauri would be proud of all the independent journalism which is propping up. Although we are, uh, maybe she would have done a better job because she was much more better trained, but it is good to see all of us coming in. So that incident has had a social change in the consciousness. Similarly, whether it is the incident, the second incident, Rohit Vemula, I think the student politics had a small drift. But if we just take that incident, maybe we will not see the trajectory, but it had had a change. It went to then JNU and we saw what it means to be in a repressive environment. I think it turned some of the political consciousness around it. And the third one, which I'll club two things, the death of Stan Swami, uh, and in, in a very uh, tragic way, uh, and it's as if we were helpless. We were even helpless and it looked like all the news which we got that even in the last moment he was absolutely graceful. So poem that he, he was uh, denied with uh, a straw, a sipper, yeah, a, a sipper for, right? for many days. Ah, for many days and it just seemed like even at the end he remained graceful yes. about it. So when we also think about the Manipur incident uh, is the seat, one seat or two seat, we will be wrong in doing that. Yes. When that incident happened, I think somewhere the Christian community which is very small but very influential, many of us have studied in their institutions, did see something of a disillusionment. And I think they are not big in numbers, but they are very influential. Yes. And they have a lot of influence on many other people. When I see that they, they are worried about their institution, they are worried about their own Christmas, something changes in the collective consciousness. So I would go back and say that it's sometimes difficult, as Salman Rushdie would say, it's difficult to quantify history when you are in it. And I think we are in the midst of history, that's for sure. How to quantify, how to even qualify it will be difficult. But I think as a civil society, I am taking it that all these incidents, whether the simplest protest, simplest article, simplest discussion in the dinner table, all of them will aggregate into some change. And I take that hope and I take that sort of inspiration from this incident of last six, seven years to myself and I would hope that that sort of solidarity remains and that sort of discussion remains in in the nation and in the civil society because they have given us hope here mattashtu vishesha video galannu nodalu mattu hosa video gala bagge tiliyalu idina.com youtube channel subscribe maadi mattu bell icon click maadi